Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. When I last talked about 5100, it was about the 5100 wide range 1151 cassette. And I mentioned to you that is not really compatible with the previous generation 11 speed derailleurs. And that is the reason why Shimano introduced this a new derailleur for that 11 to 51 tooth cassette also a shifter to go along with it and in the next few minutes I'm going to take a look at this shifting bits of the 5100 and see how they compare to the Dior 12 speed equivalent. Let's do it. On this M5100 cassette wide range the second last cog is 45 teeth and that's pretty much the maximum that the old 11 speed derailleurs could swallow these would work just fine up to about 46 so 1146 and that's why this new derailleur was needed and while I'm not planning to spend much time comparing this derailleur with the old one I'm just gonna say that because of the lack of this B-link on the new derailleur this 5100 cannot be installed on bikes that require a direct mount derailleur these would be the only types that you could install which kind of limits you to that 46 tooth maximum cog on the cassette the 5100 is only SGS so long cage it moved from 11 tooth jockeys to 13 tooth jockeys on the new derailleur and also you see this huge offset here on the guide pulley as opposed to the tiny one that you have on this 11 speed M8000 or XT derailleur. The more interesting comparison though is between Dior M5100 on the left and Dior M6100 here on the right. This is a 12 speed derailleur for that 10 to 51 tooth cassette. This is the 11 speed derailleur for this 11 to 51 tooth cassette. And you don't even have to stare at these for a while to see that they look pretty much identical. The only major difference being the color of the Dior logo here on the 11 speed is just gray. On the 12 speed, you have this rainbow color that is visible on an angle. Turn the derailleur on the side and you're gonna see 12S here written on the Dior. You don't have that on the 5100. I bet my money that this is for people in some factories so they don't confuse the 12 speed with the 11 speed derailleur. You can also identify these derailleurs by looking at the product code M5100. That is the 11 speed. Obviously this would be 6100. They both use 13 tooth jockey wheels. If you look at the offset here is identical between the two. You have that 51 tooth mark here on the derailleur cage. So you can adjust your B gap. B gap adjustment being right here. Looks like even the adjustment screws are identical between these two derailleurs. These are both SGS or long cage made in Japan and the jockey wheels use the bushings that are common with the SLX derailleurs XT and XTR will have bearings inside. Both derailleurs are clutch. You can see the on off lever here. You have the cover without the adjustment port that you find on XT and XTR. But this would be very very similar to SLX. Unfortunately I don't have one to show you right now. My rainbow logo Dior so the 12 speed comes up to 321 grams or 320. The silver logo Dior, so 11 speed, comes up to 320, so identical. The difference between these Dior derailleurs and the more expensive ones comes down to materials used. For instance, this bolt that's used for installing it, this is made out of steel versus aluminum on the more expensive ones. Uh, this outer cage here is made out of aluminum however the internal cage so this one is made out of steel that might make it stronger but it definitely makes it a bit heavier you're looking at probably 40 50 grams difference between these and the more expensive derailleurs 
My conclusion is that the Dior 11 speed and the Dior 12 speed are one and the same product. So you can use this on a 12 speed drivetrain and you can use this on an 11 speed 1151 drivetrain, no problem whatsoever. It also means that the little hack that I mentioned to you guys in the past using this XTR, what's called nose this little plastic or teflon part that goes right in here to reduce the friction between the cable and the derailleur body you can use this one on either one of the two Dior's no problem that is if you can find them part number is here from Shimano and one last note about this Dior derailleurs if the 5100 and the 6100 are identical the 5120 and 4120 that are also available in the Dior lineup right now are different so they wouldn't work on the 1151 or 10 to 51 cassettes as for the shifters the 6100 is a dedicated 1 by 12 shifter the 5100 this one works with both 1 by and 2 by 11 and again you move down to the 4100 and we're talking about 1 by 10 or 2 by 10 drivetrains so the 12 and 11 speed shifters are dedicated for the respective drivetrains the 5100 is available with or without the optical gear display or iSpec EV ready with or without the optical gear display that means that will interface nicely with these 12 speed generation brake levers from Shimano. These shifters are supposed to be used for cross country and trail. As for the features listed here, they're coming between the two and I have a comprehensive video that I'm gonna link up in the corner telling you what each of these mean. In the box, you're gonna get 185 centimeters of this SP41 housing. You get the OptiSlick inner cable and here is your 11 speed shifter at the back of the derailleur you're gonna see the exact model both on the 11 speed and 12 speed this 12 speed has the display my 11 speed doesn't but otherwise you're gonna see this bar clamp model that I have and slightly different barrel adjuster on the 11 speed versus the 12 speed this is the more premium looking one uh, that they used on the XT and SLX. This is definitely a lower grade one, but it should do its job just as well. Shifter levers look identical from the top. However, if you turn them over, you're going to see these grooves on the Dior 12 speed that just give you more grip to the levers. In the case of the 11 speed, they disappeared again, trying to make this cheaper or to differentiate between the two. Just like with the Dior 12 speed, when you are shifting down, you're pretty much opening the internals of the shifter. You expose the internals so you can get mud or debris in there. And you can shift three gears at once, one, two, three, so that's easier gears and one harder gear at a time and you can do that by either pushing or pulling on the lever one undocumented feature of these 11 speed shifter and derailleur is that they have the same pull ratio with the old 11 speed xt xtr slx so even though this is the only shifter available for the series you can use one of the older, more refined shifters with the new derailleur and build an even better drivetrain than the one designed by Shimano. So shifters compatible with the previous generation, more feature-rich XT and SLX. Derailleurs that are pretty much the same with the other Shimano 12-speed drivetrains, whether that's Dior, SLX, XT or XTR. Finally, a cassette that gives you a wide enough range, 11 to 51. It goes on a free hub body that's widely spread and available in the marketplace today with this 51 tooth big cog, put a 30 tooth chain ring and you can climb pretty much anything on a mountain bike. So what do you guys think? Are you considering the 5100 drivetrain from Shimano? In part one, I talked about cranks and chain rings. In part two, I talked about the cassette and in this last part three, I talked about the shifting bits and how everything comes together.
Do you have any questions for me? Let me know in the comments below. Hope you found this useful. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And until next time, hope to see you guys on the trails. Cheers, guys. Cheers.